Um, well, we have a Corgi, Mr. Pickles, and we had him on social media, Facebook, and we wanted to meet people face to face that we knew through social media. So I said, let's have a little meet up at the beach, and about 15, 12, 15 people showed up with their Corgis. So that first group was 12 Corgis at Huntington Beach, and um, we had fun. We did another one three months later, and it just grew and grew. Every time, the next one was 75 corgis, and it was 300, then 600, then 800, and it's just grown to be this huge event. Well, at first, it was um, it was really kind of selfish. It was just more I liked. It was really fun, you know, and it was uh, it was great just seeing everybody get together and how much joy it brought, you know, people and uh, all around the country. I've uh, just seen the videos and stuff. Everybody was just really it just brings a lot of joy and happiness to people. So that's really the main reason we started it and kept doing it. Well, the last one that we had in fall, we had about 850 corgis show up. Um, this one that we had, there was a little bit of rain, so we had still had 600. Um, but the, the one in summer, we're shooting for 1,000. So I think we'll be able to get there this time. In uh, 2014, we partnered with uh, a rescue, a corgi rescue. So part of the proceeds from our merchandise sales go back to Queen's Best. Um, we also have events at Corgi Beach Day which help raise money for them. And um, we every week we promote a different dog that needs rescuing through our social media. So it's helped them grow. It's helped a lot of dogs get rescued. Um, but they're a great rescue to work with too. It, it, it's just great working with the charity. It just it gives a purpose really. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's just... Uh, another way we can give. And we're, we're basically their main sponsor or main, main, without us, they'd be a much smaller operation. So we've helped a lot of dogs and that's what it's all about. I just love that people have so much fun and they have met people, they've met boyfriends and girlfriends and longtime friends through our events, which is crazy, you know. Um, we've made a lot of really great friends through the Corgi community. Now we just have such a network of of corgis and corgi people. Um, there's salt, some smaller subgroups on Facebook. The corgi community is really unique. Um, I'm sure that you've seen on Facebook. They all get together and if somebody's dog is in trouble or at the vet, needs help with their bills, I mean people really come together to help. We on Friday morning we had a live event. They came back to us every hour so we needed corgis so that we set um, we needed corgis to to attend at 4 a.m. you know was, I was a little nervous but we sent the call out and like you know it just we, we can make corgis happen <laughs> well I always wanted a corgi I was just obsessed with how they looked and, and you know and just that they were like big dogs and little packages you know with little legs we were living in an apartment and I was like we can't have a dog we can't have a dog and uh, I remember we were walking to the pet expo and she's like, can we have a dog? And I was just like, yes. So we found one from a reputable breeder out in Oklahoma. So that's where Pickles is from. And then we always joke that we're gonna get a corgi and name it Mr. Pickles because they're kind of long like a pickle, you know? And we actually made them Mr. Pickles. It's funny because sometimes he gets recognized places where we go now because they know him from Corgi Beach Day or our social media. People will be like, hey, so Mr. Pickles? <laughs> How do you know Mr. Pickles? It's so weird, but I guess, you know, we have a lot of people on our social media, so they recognize them. Corgis in general are pretty pretty fun, loving, mild-tempered. Uh, mild um, obviously, there's exceptions to our rule, but in, uh, like I said, they're very high energy, so if you don't help drain that energy, uh, sometimes they act up. So you definitely have to keep them engaged or give them, a, you know, they always say give a dog a job, um, definitely to keep them from getting destructive because they are so smart, they're going to get bored, they're going to chew on things, they're going to destroy things, so you definitely have to exercise them um, twice, sometimes three times a day when their puppies are younger. You know, corgis are great dogs, very um, energetic. What makes them special is their short legs and fluffy butt and the low riders, and I think uh, it's different to other dogs, and so I think that people are drawn to them. And just that they're so photogenic, I think, you know, and because there's so many social media, Instagram accounts with like thousands of followers for these dogs, so um, I just think they're cute, they're smart, they're playful, and they're just unique. <laughs>